Hello my friends and during my update of Android Studio Code please let me welcome you to the last episode for the YouTube Neumorphic design. Today we want to talk about how we can create the finishing touches and on the right side and I will talk a little bit about dependency hell. If you really like that please leave a like button here and now let's get started guys. But now to our row that we need. Uh, our last row of widgets should be a social media widget. If we take a look here, uh, we have the question marks right now because um, there should be a Twitter icon and a YouTube icon and we want to make the same. We take a look, we want to do it after the statistics widget, create a clay container again for that. Inside we have child, a child, which is a row of course, and we have different children inside. And if we take another look into good old uh, pub.dev, we can search for social media and there we get the social media buttons. And this is the um, easiest way to create a social media button, if a feather and feather is an icon library, wait, this one is an icon library that is open source to use and has a lot of very beautiful, very beautiful icons that you can use for free. So I will take that feather for now and go into our pubspec.yama and I will add these feather icons. And now in the clay container, we have to set the color, base color, and all of that will look like nothing because it doesn't, is there yet. But what we will do is we have the possibility to use the feather icons and do it ourselves. Or what I will do, I will make a combination out of the feathers package and the social media package because I have to admit, I don't want to import right now the URL again, the URL launcher. I will use that package for now, just to make sure this is a demo case and a prototype so if you create your own things, you usually try to ke keep this uh, list of dependencies as small as possible, yeah? Because even in NPM, there was uh, that funny wording that um, they throw the um, packages inside like uh, medica medicine or something. So be very concise with that, remove as many dependencies as possible. I just do that on, on demonst demonstration ways, right? So if you want to make a clay container and you don't know how to do it or you think it's cheaper then you should support one package instead of creating your own most likely and what also is beneficial if you don't have so many dependencies for a social media button for example i would never actually use a dependency package here i would create it with my, uh, myself with the url launcher that is just for demonstration so don't do this at home okay all right so back to our home screen now we have this new package that we call social media button if we take a look inside here, we have, for example, the icon data. So we can create our own social media button with icon data and can use for that the feather icons. And here is, for example, the Twitter icon. And we can set the color to a nice little blue URL that we can press. So on URL, we want to get our Twitter account. So let's see if I am logged in right now. Looking good. And I take my URL of Twitter and put it here. Now it requires an on tap. I'm not sure why, because it just should open the... Ah, I want to use the Twitter. So we have to say here uh, the constructor Twitter, of course. Now with our icon, we can see it's getting bluish. But if I restart the app... All right, and now we have our Twitter icon here, but we want to have it round also, right? So we want to have a clay container here around with the child. And we also add again the information that we had beforehand, right? So inside of our clay container, we want to have, for example, a border radius of 30 to make that one round. The color needs to be the base color that we define. And of course, we want to have that base, uh, that co uh, container, a padding surrounding it so that it doesn't uh, attach the, the outlines of it. I give it a bit more padding so that it looks a bit better. And also that row gets from me a main axis alignment of center so that the icons are nicely aligned in the center. And what I can do is now I could, uh, what I will do is just copy them, but I think it is worth to also create an own uh, widget for all of them because then you don't have to copy all of them around. So in the next one is YouTube. You can take another feathers icon that exists also for the social media. You see, we we have that red one, uh, that nice little uh, play button. I make it red. You can change, of course, the URL accordingly. So if we go here again, we go to YouTube. I go to my channel, copy the URL, go back here, save. And we can see if I press now the icon, we get navigated to my YouTube channel. And also I can go back to the Twitter one, does work exactly the same. And the last but not least, we have the, um, I don't know, medium 
exactly so let's take medium so we don't use the feather one we just don't do anything and just take the basic one and on medium i'm not logged in right now so i leave that out but you get the point you can just put your urls here inside and you can let them run and last but not least we need to have surrounding around that um, clay container another padding uh, or better because this is a column we can use a sized box in that case just to give it a height of for example 20. now they push a bit outside and with that you have made your own youtube player app that you can present to your friends and also families and also i don't know working mates and you will impress them a lot if you have something like that with your favorite videos or something all right guys so we did it we created our own app i want to thank you once more for all your support for everything that you have done for me we have now 270 subscribers i would never thought that i get so many friends that uh, show my content that are interested in flutter and i really love that and i want to go further with that if you have any ideas what we should improve or if there is anything that you would like to see please leave it down in the comments below in the right you see the nice little subscribe button that you can press on top of me you have two videos that you are maybe interested in and i would be very glad if you would uh, stay with me so stay in touch with me and enjoy the rest of your day see you tomorrow guys